Hello, so I'm Isaac from Forever Day Collective and today I'm going to show you how to use Studio One to run backing tracks live. Uh, this is for a show that I am um, playing on drums for with a solo artist called JB Rage. The setup is just drums and vocals with backing tracks for everything else. So that's what I'm going to take you through and without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I've got the session pulled up already. So we've got the click track, we've got the drums, we've got the, both guitars, and then we've got the rest of the tracks. So the rest of the tracks, let's start with those. You probably hear there, you've got some backing vocals, you've got some bass guitar, you've got some synths and effects and things like that. Anything that's never going to be a real person doing, we've stuck on there. That's always going to be active. And then we've got these two guitar parts, right? So... Rhythm guitar, lead guitar. Um, super straightforward. Just We've kept all of the guitar parts as two guitar parts and that's it. Um, the reason I've kept these separate is if down the line uh, the artist decides they're going to pull in a session guitarist for a show or for a tour or for whatever then we can just mute these parts and that's that because like you might find one song you want to play want them to play that rhythm part but another song you want them to play the lead part so on and so forth and this is just a really easy way to keep that option open and the same for the drums for this particular run of shows i'll be playing drums with him however he can't rely on my availability to um to take, take shows or turn them down so if he wanted to ever take a show without me then I can just send him this file and he would have the drums on there no problems so the only other thing to, that we've got going on is the click track we'll probably throw in some cues on a separate track and that'll be that so it's really this is the studio one show page which is different to their production page, but it's all within the same door. Um, it's really quite cool. So let me show you if I can zoom in. There we go. So on this first track, you've got it broken down into sections, right? And you can click here and you can tell it to do different stuff. So if we want had this intro, so we have this little light synthy bit. If we wanted that to loop, that that's cool so once you get to the end and it will just go back to the start and that's pretty sick because there is an iPad app that you can use with this that links over Wi-Fi on this performer page and you <laughs> you can't quite see it on this screen capture however there is a um, it's a little button at the bottom you see how over here look that's going to change in a second that's going to change to playthrough or loop so you let it loop as many times as you want um, I'll let it go through once more and then this time we're going to let it play through and then it's going to go into the counting and this goes for the other sections too. So whenever you're in a section, if you decide, oh, actually, I want to double up this chorus or I want to, you know, half this, well, I want to double up that intro or I want to double up this or that or the other, then you can do that without any issue. And I believe on the app version, you can rearrange your sections live. But yeah, that's the performer view, which is pretty cool. Uh, you've got loads of different macros that you can set up. I don't have that at the minute. But you can do that, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can also move around your set list. So it tells you on the side here what your set list is. So if we wanted to move that to there, you can do. Uh, I'm going to keep it as it was, though. And you can also set up here. If you wanted to stop at the end, continue or loop the song. 
So the last one we're going to have it stop and the next first two we're going to have it play through. So then we know how exactly how long the set is. If not you can drag it to the end and it tells you look this is 10 minutes 36 so far so we've got like four more songs to add to this I think. Um, and yeah once it's done you can zip the file by going to file convert to zip file you save it I'm going to save it as draft and then you can upload it to studio one plus which just means that once I open this up on my MacBook which is what we'll be using live all my files will be there I just open it up and I can play if I come down here and go to cloud if I come over to here to cloud pro one uh, to be on workspaces and I saved it in this folder here then I can pull that out and it will open up the file for me so that's that's pretty much the show page covered really um, there's a lot more to it than what we're using it for you can obviously as I mentioned earlier you can play real instruments through it you can play MIDI instruments through it I believe you can send um, MIDI information out to other devices, but that feature is limited. So, for example, so in my band, Decade in a Day, we use a Line 6 Helix Live to do all our patch changes. I don't think I can tell it to do that. However, because my lighting desk, for example, runs on MIDI, but it's it only runs on MIDI note commands I could run that live through this however because I need CC changes for the helix I don't think I can do that here which is a shame I wish they'd add that feature that's literally the only thing that's missing for me um, and it's the only downside but not everybody needs that um, so yeah so to give you a little background about me I have been playing in the uh, live music scene for about 10 years, give or take. Um, I do a lot of production stuff, I do a lot of design stuff, I do a lot of rig building. Um, I'm very involved on the tech side for both my own band and for a couple of other bands that I work closely with. So if you want to see a video on any of that other stuff, drop me a comment down below. And if you want to see more content like this, like and subscribe because it really does help me out starting this journey and hopefully i shall see you in another video stay tuned